Hey everyone, Wood here. Um, as you've seen yesterday, uh, Mac is clearly a Leafs fan. You know, he loves his Leafs, and you know, a lot of people around where I live are a huge Leafs fan. And unfortunately for me, I happen to be an Oilers fan. And you know, there's only maybe a couple dozen other Oilers fans living in this area, so it's uh, real tough to have someone that wants to talk about the Oilers. You know, most people want to talk about the Leafs. Well, guess what? I'm fucking sick of talking about the Leafs. All right. So I'm going to bring you a segment talking about my good old-fashioned Oilers. As most of you know, the Oilers have been, you know, a bottom-dwelling team for years and keep getting that first overall pick and lots of teams are getting sick of it. Well, guess what? It is what it is. Fucking get over it, all right? So, you know, the Oilers, they took uh, Taylor Hall, who they ended up trading for Adam Larson, um, which... You know, I'm still uncertain, you know, I, I think they could have gotten a little bit more. I, I think maybe they could have went for Subban or someone like that for a guy like Taylor Hall. But, you know, it is what it is. He's, Adam Larson's a big D-man. He brings that big body and he likes to throw it around a lot. So I guess it's okay, but still, I think we could have got a little bit more for that. Uh, then we got Ryan Nugent Hopkins, which I, you know, I think he's underrated. A lot of people don't give him the credit that he deserves. He's a, he's a great 200-foot center. He's a great penalty killer. And he, he's got a pretty wicked shot. You know, give the kid some time. You know, he's still young. He's like 24 years old. Been in the league five years. Nah, he'll be fine. Then the dreaded Nail Yakupov. Now, that was a bust if I've ever seen one. Although, he's he, he's doing he's had a pretty good year so far in Colorado. But still, Yakupov was not what everybody thought he was going to be. So, I'm not going to say much about Yakupov. Um, that brings us to our recent number one overall pick. The great Connor McDavid. I, I can't say enough about this kid. This kid is something else. Uh, a lot of people like to compare him to Sidney Crosby. And rightfully so. The kid's got the talent. But I still think he's a little bit away before being compared to Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby is the greatest player in the NHL right now and the greatest player in the world. Now, someday, could be soon, could be five, six years down the road, that title will be Connor McDavid's. There's no doubt about it. The kid is fast. The kid has lightning quick hands. And he, he, the vision on the kid is just unreal. You see guys play 15, 16, 17 years in the NHL and never develop the hockey IQ that kid has. And he's only 20 years old. So just imagine when he's 27 years old and he's got that man strength on him. Kid's going to be dynamite. All right. So that brings me to Leon Dreisaitl. Big body, good hands, good IQ. A little bit slower than McDavid, but he's still there. You know, they're a good one-two punch up there. Now, I, 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 I'm not a big fan of them playing on the same line. I think they should both be centering their own lines. But, you know, that right wing depth really kills it for them. Uh, they got a bunch of young guys on the right wing. Uh, Ryan Strom, you know, they traded Everly to bring in Ryan Strom. And he still hasn't really started pulling his weight. Uh, you know, might be a little nervous playing with talent like Connor McDavid and those guys. Um, then they got Kyler Yamamoto. For those of you that don't know who that is, he was their uh, recent draft pick at 22 overall. Just a little guy, five foot eight, 155 pounds. Uh, you know, he came into the rookie camp, didn't really look that spectacular. Then he came into the main camp, and you know, preseason he put up some good numbers. He was looking really good out there. You know, his size didn't really hold him back, and. They gave him his first nine games, and I think even in those nine games, he still looked pretty good. And I think he could have probably, you know, pushed for a roster spot. But then again, 18 years old, you don't really want to rush the kid, especially his size. You never know. He could have got hurt playing in uh, in the NHL, right? So it's, it's better that they keep him down in the minors, give him some time to develop. And, you know, two years from now when he's playing on Connor McDavid's right wing, putting in 40, 50 goals a season. Yeah, he'll get his time. Then you got Jesse Pujarvi, or Pool. I don't know how to say his name. Most people call him Pool Party. Uh, yeah, big boy, 6'4", 220 pounds, 
you know, pretty sloppy skater, but that'll come. You know, you used to play in the European style of hockey, big ice, lots more room. So he's he's still trying to get accustomed to the the North American style. So once he does, I think he's going to be a, a real good hockey player as well. So for those of you who are panicking, thinking, you know, oh my God, the Oilers are doing so bad right now. Chill out. It's November. If this was January, February, and the Oilers were doing this bad, it's it's okay to start panicking. But we're a month and a bit into the season. Calm down. They're turning it around now. They just finished their recent road trip. At, uh, five of a possible eight points, which is huge, you know. It took the Washington to a shootout last night, a couple overtime wins, and, you know, penalty kill killed them uh, Saturday against the Rangers. But early game, you get to New York, 1 o'clock afternoon game, it's hard to adjust, right? So you take that one with a grain of salt. But for those of you who keep doubting Shirelli, I think he's building for, you know, uh, Two, three years down the road. Look at the guys they got in the minors right now. They got Ethan Fair, Caleb Jones, Pajarvi. Well, Pajarvi's up right now. They got Kyler Almamoto. There's other guys, right? You guys got to be patient. They're not going to be a Stanley Cup winning team two years after a kid's come into the NHL, right? Drysettle's played two years in the league. McDavid's played a year and a half. Like, they're not going to carry these guys to an NHL championship right away. You got to give them time to develop. Last year was really good. They made it to the second round, got put out in game seven by the Ducks. Ducks are a strong team. They're a good playoff team. It was tough, right? Give them some time, and I guarantee in the next two, three, four years, they'll have a cup or a cup appearance, all right? So everybody calm down. Stop freaking the fuck out, and just enjoy watching McDavid and Dreisaitl do what they do, all right? So that's enough for me talking about the Oilers. You know, if anybody wants to bicker back at me or, you know, doesn't agree with what I have to say, hit me with a comment or a like, whatever, all right? Thanks for listening to me rant about the Oilers. You guys have a good night.